Hey friends, Mike here, November the 5th. Woo! Shell and I did a lot of work today, got a lot accomplished. But I just wanted to show you around the garden just to kind of see what we've got planted. Uh, don't forget to turn your clocks back. I wish we didn't have to even change the clocks. Um, it's pretty sunny and bright here, so I'll do my best. Check out the scarlet okra. Um, it's still, still growing really good, but we're gonna let it just pot out and go to seed. We uh, harvested a good amount, and I have a bunch in Ziploc bags in the freezer. And I'll go ahead and process those. I'll probably just slice them and I'll do an egg wash, and then just batter them in cornbread. The little radishes are doing pretty good. We'll give them some more time. So we've got some broccoli right here, just planted today. And we've got some... We got one purple cabbage we're playing around with, and we've got some kale. Uh, the beets are doing really well. Same with the turnips. And look at the carrots, guys. They're really doing well. I took the time today uh, to weed and just kind of fluff up the soil in between. We've been getting in some nice rain. Uh, for the folks up in uh, North Texas and Louisiana, uh, we're praying for you guys. Watching the news, a lot of people lost their houses and lives, so that's pretty sad. But uh, we'll do what we can do, and we'll pray and see if that um, if there's anything we can do, we will. We'll donate uh, when the time comes. Um, the herb garden is doing well. Lots of nice, beautiful dill coming out. Love dill. Boxwood basil, Thai basil, oregano. Um, we've got regular basil still as well too, so, and then the chives. The arugula is doing great. I went ahead and planted the seed, and with the cooler weather, it's just going to go crazy. Here along the fence, we've got snow peas. They're making a good start. They're climbing the fence. Some of them are not doing as well, but we'll, we'll get plenty. We always do. So for the weather, unfortunately, the storms in North Texas and Louisiana and, and that part of the country, but we did get some rain. Uh, we needed it. This is our little flower garden that Michelle likes for pansies in the winter. And we, I put in a little bit of dill in between. Over here, we've got um, some different cabbages. Also, we planted uh, just your regular green cabbage. I put in some baby bok choy. We've got our celery. We even have some Asian long beans along the fence coming out. If it doesn't get too cold, uh, in the next 30, 40 days, we might get some long beans. Over here in the raised bed, we've got more cabbage. Now, I'm trying something new this year. I've got acorn squash. And I'm going to go ahead and as it grows, I'm going to clip it to the fence and see if I can get it to grow up the fence. That'll be fun. Our peppers are still alive. I'm going to keep them going uh, until, um, until the first frost. So we've got poblanos. Michelle really likes her poblanos for stuffing, doing all kinds of fun recipes. Really cool. These are kind of, I watered them just recently. Our cilantro is doing really good. So we'll have a late season cilantro. So if we want to make a salsa or something or just sprinkle them over a taco, we have that. Peppers, hey, the banana peppers, they're starting to go bye-bye on me. But our srirachas are good. Look at all those red srirachas. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the hot peppers, srirachas, the Tabascos, and the jalapenos. Uh, I'm going to chop them up. I'm going to dehydrate them to make like a, a chili spice that you could put on your foods. And I'll do a video on that. Our oven has dehydration mode, so I'll just use that. I've done it before. It takes a little longer, but it works. And we are off and running with the grow table. Well, we just started our series on the fall grow table. We planted lettuce, spinach, just a variety of different things. Um, again, this year we planted microgreens in this tray. 
So that series will probably, we started it today, we'll wait a few weeks. We'll probably, it'll probably come out in about six weeks and we'll show you how we grow lettuce, greens, uh, spinach on the grow table. I love this method. Uh, we did learn uh, this from Hollis and Nancy's homestead. Wonderful people. We've, I mean, I've been gardening for over 30 years and you never stop learning. Um, just be humble. But the cool thing about this is, is that the older we get, it's so much easier to just walk up to the table and snip, snip, snip. Here's some lettuce, let's make a salad. Um, we got the design on the website for Hollis and Nancy. I'll go ahead and put it in there. Um, and I kind of customized it to a little bit different, but it works great. We're probably gonna build another one because we have room here in our grow table section. Um, let's look around and I wanna show you our sweet potatoes. We were gonna harvest today. We've got our purple Japanese on this side and we've got our regular um, sweet potatoes over here but we're gonna wait till next week miss rochelle said she thinks she wants to wait because we just noticed in the last few weeks that we're actually getting flowers and i've been kind of digging in here and i've been seeing some potatoes and some color so i want to wait another week um maybe two i mean the weather i think this week is going to be 80 82 and then we're going to get another cold front thursday or friday so we're going to wait a little bit longer maybe it, next weekend or the weekend after but we'll see about that i'm, I'm kind of ready to i'm curious to see what's inside there but i'll be patient so the garden is doing good guys please say a prayer for the folks that lost their homes um in north texas and louisiana very sad these storms happen in the south i'll tell you what we don't normally get these type of storms in the fall typically it's in the spring um, but it happened um, hopefully these folks are going to be okay but no I just wanted to give you a quick garden update we're doing good I thought I had broken my ankle I've been wearing a brace for a couple of weeks but I had it checked out and it's not it's just a bad sprain There's nothing worse than a bad sprain on your ankle yeah, we got a lot of yard work done. We got a lot of planting done. The temperature is wonderful. We got rain uh, and we're having a great weekend. You guys, thanks for watching. A lot of serious videos coming. It's just going to take time. Uh, they'll release probably um, December and then into January, February, March. But I'll give you updates on the garden, how things are going. I've been doing a lot of cooking. Uh, the pumpkin seeds were fun. Hopefully you guys can do that. Until next time, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.